Max, a couple of years ago, Albion celebrated their 50th year in business. In fact, I had the pleasure of attending a, a very nice event that uh, your company put on to celebrate that. Mm -hmm. You know, in those years, those 50 plus years now, Albion has developed uh, many patents and many processes of how to, to do the business that you do to, to create the chelates. Can you talk a little bit about that and the patents that you have and some of the processes and ways you go about creating the chelated minerals that your, that oh, your company sure. has? Well, that, that's the, the key is uh, 50 years plus of experience because, you know, of course we have many patents that apply to the production and utilization uh, and effectiveness and validation of mineral amino acid chelates that we produce, but also we have a lot of proprietary information that we've developed, just regular know-how, because to make a chelate in the form that Alvin does, which is really a nutritionally functional chelate, which is important to, to mention, nutritionally functional chelates will perform and have all the benefits that I mentioned. If a chelate, and I can name some, is not nutritionally functional, then you're not going to get the benefits. And that's why the know-how to make a nutritionally functional chelate that Albion has accumulated all this knowledge and patents and know-how uh, to produce is critical to differentiate what Albion makes in terms of a chelate versus what some other people claim to be in a chelate that, that they're manufacturing. Uh, there could be such a wide discrepancy between Albion's material and the other so-called chelates that it's, uh, it's amazing. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, this thing about nutritional functionality uh, involves the very basic advantages to the chelates, things like the molecular weight, the size of the chelate molecule. Albion has the smallest possible molecular size of a chelate because we use glycine, which is the smallest amino acid. And so our overall molecular weight is well, well below 800 uh, atomic mass units, which is the maximum size of a molecule that your body could absorb intact. Albion's molecular weight with the glycines is below uh, 200 typically, so it's much, much smaller. And the smaller the chelate, what we have found over the years, the higher the relative absorption will be. Are there ways of demonstrating that uh, in the human body? Uh, how would we know that, uh, that in fact, what you just discussed, uh, the absorption is really taking place. Well, uh, Albion, in addition, and that's just a good thing to point out, Tom, in addition to uh, patents and know-how, uh, we have gone through the trouble of showing the biological effectiveness of the Albion chelates. And we've been involved in a lot of clinical research. And uh, Albion will always be at the forefront of nutritional research relative to minerals because we believe in this so strongly. Uh, studies that we've sponsored have shown, for instance, with our iron, the markers for iron in the human body are improved when you take Ferrocal, the ferrous glycine chelate. We know that we've taken people with a lower hemoglobin as a group, 100 people, start off with low hemoglobin, They're, they have anemia, and take the iron for a period of 30, 60, 90 days, whatever the the protocol might be, and we always have seen that the hemoglobin hematocrit, the markers of the absorption of iron, all go up significantly. Same thing with the studies we've shown on copper. The copper, we've shown the SOD levels go up. Manganese, we've shown that as well. So you can go down the list on any of the minerals, and we've been involved in clinical research on, we have demonstrated the fact that our ingredient, our mineral amino acid chelate, is absorbed and biologically active. Have you done this in comparison with other products that... Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, At least yes. say that sure. they are chelates. We have, and uh, what we have been able to show is that ours are absorbed at a higher rate. Uh, the other thing that we've done is we've taken and gotten samples of the competition over the years and just tested them for our own knowledge, if you will, internally, mm -hmm. to see what the competition is making. And what we found uh, is that they're not making what we're making. They're not making a true, reacted, nutritionally functional mineral amino acid chelate. Uh, some of them are literally just dry blending hydrolyzed soy protein with a salt form and calling it a chelate. Uh, some of them are making something that's a cruder type of chelate, something that 
Elvian made maybe back in the 70s before we developed a degree of know-how we have today. If a person took a, one of these chelates, especially maybe the, the one you mentioned first, where it was just a combination of some amino acids and some minerals, thinking that they are taking a chelate, that this may, in fact, uh, they're going to be disappointed in the end yes. as a result. And, That's true. And, I, and how does that harm, say, the, your company and the industry in general? Well, it does harm the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it really is a black eye, and it's unfortunate. But uh, what happens, and uh, you and I were talking about iron earlier, mm -hmm. and, for instance, iron is known to have the side effect of constipation. Well, a true chelate that Albion makes does not cause constipation. However, these so-called chelates will cause constipation, just like you'll get from the inorganic or salt forms. And so what happens is that somebody who thinks that they're going to get the benefits of a true chelate who goes and buy a product that's got this non-Albion supposed chelate, they'll take it and they still get constipated. And they turn around and say, well, you know what? We were told that these chelates were better and that they don't cause constipation. I took it, and the evidence is with me, it doesn't work. I've gotten constipation on the chelated form. And that, that's really not a good thing for us as an industry. How can people tell whether or not, with all the different companies that, were, that have supplements, that they're in fact getting an Albion chelate versus just a chelate? Well, I, I think that the only real way to know is to look on a label because the majority of people who put Albion chelates in their product will tell you proudly on their label that they are. Uh, there's a gold medallion that we give out to companies to use on their label if they want, and that gold medallion assures that all of the minerals in that product are Albion minerals. Uh, other companies will take and list Albion's name and patent numbers and things such as that, but there will be either the gold medallion or Albion's name somewhere on that label that will assure the consumer that they're getting a true reacted chelate.